and welcome to Nora's Cove. Here at the Cove, we do DIYs, budget planning, plan with me's, anything business related and lifestyle. So let's jump into today's video. For those of you who are new here, who don't know me, I'm Yoshida and I am the CEO owner of Nora's Cove. So today let's dive right in. Let's start with my favorite things, my essentials that I need in my planning, just in planning period. Okay, you guys, so obviously I need my planners. Um, I love my planners. Um, I've shown you guys a lineup of my planners. I will try to link that in the cards above so that you can see. So this is what I need. Now I kind of cross reference in most of my planners. So some of the favorite things that I need in my planner are inserts, of course. My favorite inserts are habit trackers. That's just what I like. Here's one, I'll just use my pocket for that because I do use my pocket a lot. It's my everyday carry at the moment. And I have it track pretty much in all my planners except for my business planner. So again, habit tracking inserts, those are just essential in my planning. I need weekly inserts. I need daily inserts. My favorite weeklies at the moment are the cloth and paper. They're 2021. Well, they're new design for 2021, but um, this is kind of what it looks like. And I love their monthlies and their inserts. So, I mean, their monthlies and their weeklies. And again, the dailies, I've been using the um, Peanut Planner Co. ones. Those are my favorite. It's definitely an essential. And again, back to inserts. I love the monthlies by uh, Cloth and Paper. I don't think I have one in here. I'm sure I do. Here it is. So I love monthlies because I can kind of view my month out, you know, ahead of time. And while I'm at it, this is one of my favorite pens. This is the Signo 307 Uniball pen, one of my absolute favorites. It is a 0.7 nib, and I like it because I write pretty big, but uh, it allows me to kind of stay small, especially in a pocket planner. So again, mostly what's in here is pretty much in here, but one thing that isn't in there, I don't believe it is, it may be, is um, my zone cleaning inserts. You can find these inserts in my shop, but I need these because it helps me kind of keep up with my housework, which zone I'm supposed to be in, because if you're anything like me, you may have a squirrel brain and you'll go from one room to the next and to the next and realize you haven't gotten anything done. So I definitely need my zone cleaning inserts. So, and I love dividers, okay? As y'all can see, I gotta have them because I can go directly to where I need to go. So let's put these aside. And while I'm on pens, um, this is a pen I got from Wish. And this is basically the same pen. They are 0.5 nibs, but they are kind of small. Well, this one is 0.5, it came from Wish. This is 0.35 and it came from Amazon. These are in my Amazon storefront. So check it out. I'll hopefully leave a link below in the description box so that you can get them. And I love the right, the way they write. Next up is this cloth and paper desk pad. I love this thing. This is how I kind of pre-plan. It allows me to write out what I have to do for the week. I can actually come back in here if there's something that I forgot. I can come back in here, jot it down. Because um, here lately, I've been doing a lot of business planning here at my desk. If I'm filling orders, I'm here at my desk. So I can see, oh, well, I may not be able to ship orders out on this day or what have you, or like now looking here at Ship Happy Mail. I shipped some Happy Mail on Monday, but I have some more to ship. So I need to jot that down that it needs to go out today. So that's why I like having this. It is just essential. As you can see, I don't do a lot of stickers on it. At first I did, but now I just needed to see an overview of my week. And a lot of times um, I'll have things here, but it may not be in my planner because I've jotted it down and I can see it in a you know bird's eye view of what I need to do. So that's the cloth and paper desk pad, weekly desk pad. I highly, highly, highly suggest it, especially if you're not really daily planning or you're planning in your planner. If you find that you don't have a lot to do, I definitely highly suggest this. 
next up is my Rapsco uh, hole puncher. Oh my goodness, I love this thing. Now, I was talking on Instagram about how um, Planner Crave and I were trying to figure out the A5 part of it. It worked for me, but it didn't work for her. Go ahead and get you another one for A5 because it is sometimes difficult to use. But for your personal um, rings and your mini pocket rings, this is perfect. Um, a pound of babe suggested this to me at a planner meetup about a year or so ago. And I just ordered it. First, I didn't use it. I used it only for my personal ring planner, which I really wasn't into at that time. So I'm glad I kept it and I use it all the time, especially printing my own inserts. This is a must have for printing when you're printing your own inserts. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> so here I love sticky notes, any kind of sticky notes. I have some back over here. I'm gonna get into those in just a second, but I love sticky notes. I love notepads and let me show you. So I do most of my planning upstairs on my couch and I found this at Michael's. Open it. It's just a clear like letterbox, and I kind of got it for essential, um, not essentials, for like my inserts. I'm always trying to find something to store my inserts, but this is where I store my notepads and sticky notes. So sticky notes and notepads are very essential for me. Um, as you can see here, I plan out my podcast on this particular sticky note. I do an outline. And I found that to be very, very helpful. Sometimes I may plan out a video with a notepad. And then here, I make grocery lists. Look, here's a notepad just stuck up in here. And sometimes I'll flip it over, especially if my grocery list is a running grocery list. I'll just flip it over and keep it going. So this is pretty much my running grocery list. So I'll keep it here. Sometimes I'll take it into the store for me, just rip it out and fold it and i love these circle notepads by cloth and paper because i can just stick them in my planner jot down something really quick it's not too big and it's not too small and any notepad from cloth and paper i love so as you can see i go through them i think these are actually one to be honest and these are journaling cards, um, but it has inbox, memo, and goals on it. This is like my second set. Um, I just keep purchasing them because I can just stick these in my planner and I'll write down, you know, things that I need to remember or things that I want to make a note of. And I just stick them in the pockets of my planner. This one is new to me. I haven't used it yet. That's why another reason it's still in the plastic because those are new. And then here I can plan out my day on a notepad. Uh, this was from July 10th. And to me, sometimes when I use a notepad instead of my planner to daily plan, I get so much done. As you can see, I mean, I was knocking it out <laughs> and I actually completed this task here. Um, so, yeah, so definitely notepads and sticky notes. And then here reminds me of happy mail to send or, you know, things like that. Something really quick. But sticky notes and notepads, I must, must have. Next up is my planner bag. And I can get a lot in this planner bag. I actually keep my personal planner and my mini, which is my extension in here, like that. This bag came from Gold Mine and Coco. It was a collaboration with Posh Plans. I love the message. I love black and white. So as you can see with my other planner, I love black and white. So I just love it. It's my most used like planner bag besides the next one that I'm going to show you. But I need a planner bag because sometimes when I'm carrying a tote purse, I can just throw this in there. It protects my planner. Um, if I decide, hey, I don't need two planners in there, I can take this out. I can throw in my highlighters, which is another essential. And bam. And a pen and maybe some stickers okay so i truly truly love me a good planner bag i'm just a bag girl like i have more but this is like one of my absolute favorites next up is highlighters and this little pin case i got from five below and when i did makeup we would use these to hold our brushes and we could put our brushes in there clean brushes of course 
you can sit it on your workstation and pull your brush out but i love it because i can do this for my highlighters instead of having a whole another bucket it's something that i can take with me um, from planner to planner or if i want to just throw in my purse and it has all of my favorite highlighters i have a couple of pins in here um, from simply gilded these are my favorite at least they were and um, these are my most used highlighters the Malwiners I use to do my budget planning and um, not budget planning, but expenses like when I spend. And so they each serve a purpose for which category that they go in. It's easy for me to remember. And then my Tombos, I love those for daily planning, like to just maybe highlight, to the, highlight the day or to just mark off a completed task on my to-do list. And then even in here, I have tweezers. So as you can see, I can get <laughs> a lot in here. Next up is my absolute favorite planner bag. This bag I got from the thrift store, believe it or not. It comes from Forever 21, but it, look, I got a face mask in there. Um, I hold a lot of like extra inserts for it, like pocket inserts. Um, that's what it's become lately. I have my ring light for my phone and pins in here. Just all kinds of things that it can hold. I haven't been using it lately because I've been decluttering and I just used the other one that I showed you. But also, I keep my little tiny, teeny, tiny scissors in there. I cut washi with this. Um, sometimes I may have to trim off my inserts and they're just the perfect size. So this is definitely an essential. I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby, but they are perfect. And this is my absolute favorite um, planner bag. It's pink. I love pink too. So, and it feels like leather, but I doubt very seriously if it's leather, but yeah. So this is definitely an essential for me because sometimes um, before the pandemic, I was carrying this the most and I could get a couple planners in here. Uh, I had all my highlighters in here. What else? Pins, my little scissors, uh, task cards, all that stuff, believe it or not, and it stretches, as you can see. And I can get all this in there, and I can just throw it into my purse, which is a tote, and it fit perfect, and it zips. And I found this at the thrift store, and I think I didn't pay but maybe $3 for it, so if I see another one, I'm going to grab it. If you see one at your local thrift store, grab it. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Uh, someone had hit me in my inbox on Instagram, said they found it on like Macari or something like that. And look at all those sites. You can find it. I believe that it is a makeup bag or something, but definitely it is perfect. Next up is my paper cutter. Um, I love this thing. Now, I'm due for a new one, but I can't cut inserts without it. I cannot cut some of my stickers without it. Um, sometimes I have my stickers set to cut on their own through the machine, but every now and then one won't cut. So I need to use this. I've changed the blade only once and I've had it for... Um, a year and a half, so I've only changed the blade once. It cuts through my plastic. Uh, what other inserts did I use? My um, dashboards, the hard vellum, all that great stuff, cardstock. It is a beast, but this is my circuit, but I am ready for a new one. But this is what I use often the most. And lastly on the list are my stickers. I have to have functional stickers. <clears throat> Excuse me, functional stickers. Um, I just need them. I love a little deco sticker here and there. But these are my two most used sticker boxes. Um, they, you can get these from Michaels. They're the photo boxes. They also have a bigger one, and I use that to store bigger kits or whatever. But I'm not into kits like that anymore. But I still... Um, buy them just sometimes for support sometimes to use the boxes or the deco but these are like my favorite stickers here my others i don't mix i try not to mix mine in here because i just want to use what i pay for so i have a random a lot of shops here so that's how i've separated them i plan to get more um, of these boxes and just get the whole kind of box kit so that I can separate shop by shop. But I'm a creature of habit. I kind of shop at the same ones. I do find new ones um, that I like. So that's why they're all in here. And then these are some more of my favorites. On top, I have my girl Shakisha from Scripts by LNC. But mainly most of these are mine. Um, I have other ones in here as well. But these again are my favorite. I have Elaine Michelle, Anika, and of course mine. 
So yeah, so this is also, like I said, my second favorite box that I just dipped into. And when I need a little boost or like um, with mine, if I know that mine are in here and it's some favorite of mine, like these eyeglasses stay on top because I use them in almost every um, spread or whatever that I do. Even when I'm not really doing deco, I use those glasses or either my teeny dots from my shop, the blush dots. Okay, so that concludes my favorite things, my favorite planner essentials. What are your favorite planner essentials? So let me know in the comment section, what are your favorite planner essentials? Did you see anything in here that you don't use that you may consider using? I would love to know. So don't forget, leave me a message down in the comment section and I'll be happy to talk with you. You guys, again, I want to thank you all so much for the love. I want to just thank you for the follow. If you're new here, let me know that you're new here down in the comment section so I can give you a shout out. Say hey and welcome to the co. Don't forget, if today is your first time watching any of my content, you enjoy today's content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.